Corgi is a famously royal pop that has plenty of energy, is highly intelligent and has so much love for their human companions. In today's video we'll be comparing the Welsh Corgi with a Malinois, an incredible breed that can often be found working as police and military dogs in protection and as a loving family companion. Welcome back to the Fenrir Corgi Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Corgi, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Corgi. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss another upload. So let's dive right into today's video and look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's histories. In the 10th century, pastures in Wales were considered common land, meaning that there were no fences separating one farmer's land from another's. In order for them to keep their cattle together and separate from other herds, they needed herders. They used the corgis as due to their short size and closeness to the ground, they were able to nip at the legs of the cattle in order to herd them. The corgi has easy access to the cow's ankles and they were luckily very difficult targets of the cattle's retaliating kicks. The Belgian Malinois is one of four different varieties of Belgian sheepdog that were developed in Belgium in the 1800s. The Belgian Shepherd Dog Club was formed in 1891 to identify which of the many different types of dog was a representation of the shepherd dogs developed in and native to Belgium, which was said to be square, medium-sized dogs with well-set triangular ears and very dark brown eyes and only different in texture colour and length of the hair. The Malinois of today can be traced back to a pair of dogs, one pale fawn rough haired shepherd dog and a short haired brindled brown shepherd dog. From that line, after careful and proper breeding, the Malinois came to be. It got its name after the city of Malades and soon all the fawn coloured short haired dogs were known as a Malinois. In 1877, due to a lack of sheep left in Belgium, it was suggested that the shepherd dogs be put through field trials to showcase their intelligence, obedience and loyalty. The canine trial showed just how incredible the Malinois is in its abilities with high intelligence and remarkable jumping height. They were also used as guard dogs and they were the first dogs to be used by the Belgian police. The dogs worked as military dogs during the First and Second World Wars which caused them to become popular globally after being brought home with the soldiers across Europe to America and beyond. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi weighs no more than 30 pounds and stand between 10 to 12 inches at the shoulders. Corgis have a remarkable double coat which includes a thick undercoat and a long top coat. Their colouring can differ. You can find corgis in red, sable, black, tricoloured or fawn, usually always with white markings. The corgi is a very heavy shedder. They shed all year long with a higher amount seasonally twice a year. Corgis are easy to groom but need regular brushing to control the shedding amounts. Male Belgian Malinois are generally 24 to 26 inches in height at the shoulder and weigh between 60 and 80 pounds. Females are slightly smaller at 22 to 24 inches in height and weighing 40 to 60 pounds. As previously mentioned, the Malinois has short straight hair which is pretty rough in texture. They have a hard top coat and a dense undercoat which provides them with weather resistance which is needed especially being originally bred to work outdoors in any and all conditions. The hair around their neck can be slightly longer, causing a sort of mini mane to form. They have a fawn to mahogany coloured coat with a black mask on their face, black ears and black tips on their hairs. Fawn Malinois can sometimes have a bit of white on the tips of their toes or a small white marking on their chest. As with all breeds, the Corgi can be prone to certain health conditions. This is very important to be aware of, as an owner, due to potential costs and being able to look after your dog if any of these conditions arrive throughout their life. Corgis can be prone to hip dysplasia, eye problems, blood and tissue disorders, epilepsy and spinal injuries. It's extremely important as a dog owner to be aware and to do your research on these different health conditions to make sure that you're able to care for your pup as they need you to do. The Malinois is a generally healthy breed, but like the Corgi can be more prone to certain health conditions, which include hip and elbow dysplasia, eye conditions and anaesthesia sensitivity. They have a lifespan of 12 to 14 years. The Malinois is an incredible working dog that is remarkably confident and protective. They are very affectionate when it comes to their family, but can be very unsure or wary of strangers until they feel them and their family are safe. 
They have fantastic watchdog abilities as they'll protect their family and home no matter what. With plenty of early socialisation and consistent training with the Malinois, you can have an all-rounded, devoted, loving canine companion that looks to you for guidance and is well-balanced in nature. The Welsh Corgi was first and still is used as a working dog. They're more often found as family pets. They are commonly loving and affectionate pups that are eager to please their owners. Although they are great family pups, they can have an independent side to them, which can make them want to do their own thing. Corgis are known to be good watchdogs due to often being suspicious or wary of people that they don't know. This is a loyalty in them that wants to protect their home and owners. All dogs need to be socialised from an early age in order to grow into a confident and well-rounded dog that gets along well with other people and animals and can cope with different environments and situations. They are an adaptable breed and love to spend their time with their families. Corgis have a lot of energy so need plenty of walks and play sessions. They are an active breed and can suit just about any household, whether that be an apartment or a big house with a garden. But it is as long as you're able to give them plenty of walks and active play sessions. Their high intelligence is a quality that suited them to herding cattle and sheep and horses alongside their impressive energy, which now means that corgis need their owners to set them tasks or challenges to keep them occupied in order to avoid them getting bored or acting out. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comment section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated corgi videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Femrio Corgi Show.